And welcome to another edition of Visit Las Cruces Live, the real New Mexico podcast. My name is Ed Carnathan. I'm your host. And again, uh, lots of fun things going on here in Las Cruces. We're going to talk about fun things to do, local business to check out, and a whole lot more. You can get your podcast, Visit Las Cruces, the real New Mexico podcast, wherever you get your podcast app. Most apps, website, all the great stuff. Please check us out. Now, this week, we're going to talk about one of the local businesses to check out, and that is Iconic Records and Apparel, North Campo, 224 North Campo, downtown Las Cruces. With us right now, Justin and Jackson Teskovitz. And uh, guys, thanks for being on the show today. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. Now, we're going to talk about uh, Iconic Records and Apparel Record Store, but a whole lot more. Talk to us a little bit about when you guys started and uh, what you have in the store. Yeah, you're absolutely right on the whole lot more. One of our, our taglines is, you know, it's more than a record store. Um, we, uh, we started this endeavor back in, uh, in 2008, which, you know, I don't have to tell you 2008 was not a good year for, for the economy yeah. and, uh, it was not a good year to open up any type of business. Uh, but at that time, uh, I was with my, my wife, uh, we, well, we started dating and one of her dreams, um, there's the movie Pretty in Pink, and there's the girl in the movie yes. who owns the record store. Right. And, uh, and that's when we first started getting together. She's like, I would love to, to have a record store. And we actually started collecting records together. She bought me my first record, um, and that's what we did as a hobby. We'd go to different you know, places and, and just, just dig for records. And uh, the whole idea came you know, from an idea to turning the open sign in about nine months. And that was in, again, that was in 2008. My, my son Jackson was born in 2009. So, so yeah, this, I was like raised behind the desk. He, <laughs> he really was, yes. Um, and, and it's really just been a, a, a you know, homegrown, right. small family business from the ground up from the beginning. And uh, here we are 16 years later. It's, yeah. it's incredible. Well, way back in the day, we had, uh, you know, uh, chain record stores, right? Mm-hmm. I can remember uh, Camelot. I can remember, you know, Hastings. You mm-hmm. have a, you know, a bunch of different things. Whether you be East Coast or West Coast. Oh yeah, or, FYE, you know, coconuts. FYE, coconuts. Yeah, yeah. But those have kind of gone to the wayside, mm-hmm. right? Now, now it's a lot of uh, homegrown, home-owned mom and pop shops. Mom and pop shops, and that's exactly what you guys are doing. Mm-hmm. Now, um, you know, records. Let's talk about that. They're making a comeback, right? Yeah, it's crazy to see, like, kids my age coming to, see, like, get their favorite artist on, or, like, even discovering, yeah. like, an older artist and it becoming their, like, new favorite artist. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Yeah, go ahead. No, they say there really is something powerful about music. I mean, music yeah. is medicine. Um, and when you go into a place like this, you may discover something that you've never heard of or you've never even thought that you were looking for. Um, you know, and it's, it's like how Jackson said, there's kids, you know, 15, you know, 20 years old, they're, they're picking up Sam Cooke, they're picking up, uh, you know, Aretha Franklin, like, they're buying stuff that like, it, it's inspiring to see that these artists are, you know, are generational, and they're making A the comeback, next generation yeah. appreciate their work. Right. Now, Norm and I are, are old. You know, I don't know if you could tell by, by looking at <laughs> oh, us. Oh, no, you guys we were, are great. We were raised on <laughs> records, right? How is the sales of Led Zeppelin IV doing? Oh, Led Zeppelin 4, that's uh, always Led Zeppelin, Beatles, Rolling Stones, Rush, Pink Floyd. There's always your staples, and no matter what age genre or what age group you're in, you're going to you're gonna discover those bands, and they're going to yeah. change your world one way or another. Now, you guys have records from all the way back in the 60s to present. Day. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Who, who's your best seller probably right now? Pro- probably the ones that I just named, yeah. uh, you know, Beatles, yeah, Led Zeppelin, like Iron Maiden. Rolling Stones. A lot oh, of the, yeah. Iron Maiden, oh, Metallica. Yeah. Those are ones that, you know, we don't see very AC, often. DC. But when we do, you know, they, they come in and they find homes real quick. I think my, if I'm remembering correctly, and, and there's a lot of my past that I've forgotten over time, I'm sure I've been hitting the head a lot over the years. So uh, I think it was Rolling Stones, Tattoo You. If I'm, if I'm I was trying to remember what was my first record. I remember getting Led Zeppelin, buying that. Uh, bon Jovi, Cinderella, Metallica, and, mm-hmm. and having all these various records, but that was that was the thing, right? You you get home from school, you go in your room, and you fire up the record player, right? Mm-hmm. You're yeah. gonna you're kind of gonna kind of decompress, and music is a way to do that. Absolutely, and one thing that I that I love about vinyl, it's you you really do commit to at least half of the album each time you listen. Um, you know, we're kind of in this era where like, oh, I want to listen to this song, this song, this song. And you kind of skip around. But when you put on a, an album, 
you appreciate yeah. that piece of work for what it is. And at the very least, you, you listen to the whole half. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? There's no skip button on a record yeah. player. No, it's, 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 you know, from the beginning to end. There's no random. There's no none of that. You're no fast forward, no yeah. rewinds. You're going to listen to it from track one all the way through. Yep. And that's the way the band intended, right? Ex exactly. Yeah. Every it, it, They're just not on there randomly. The, mm -hmm. the tracks are there in a certain uh, progression. And when you read the liner notes and you, you see the pictures of them recording, like you see that every album, you know, tells a story one way or another. And, and somehow those tracks, you know, link up and they, they have a concept uh, and it basically just a song cycle. And right. then you can use that to, you know, inspire yourself or whatever you're going through. You can right. relate to the music in one way or another. And then also, you're not only just the music and the songs and the tracks, but the album art mm -hmm. is is part of it as well. Oh yeah. Yes. What, what do you, you like? Like the, the Jackson loves the gatefolds. Yeah, the gatefolds. Sleeves. It's like you could find an album from the '70s that has uh, weed seeds in it. <laughs> <laughs> we see all types of crazy yeah. stuff. You never know. Right. Right, I can remember, you know, Led Zeppelin's uh, album covers were always uh, significant. Mm -hmm. uh, Iron Maiden, of course, with Eddie on, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. on the uh, on the cover of every Iron Maiden. But a lot of them, you know, uh, a lot of them, that was, that was half the deal, the songs plus the album. Like the trippy cover, like Yes, yeah. they had a lot of... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, a, pro a progressive band like Yes, they, you know, they, they all had uh, some great things. But t talk about what else you have in the store. So not only vinyl, you know, it's really just a home for physical media. So we sell vinyl, CDs, cassettes. Uh, we, even have, we even have 8-tracks. We have right. VHS. Uh, we even sell Betamax, wow. which, is, which is crazy. Um, but there's always, there's always collectors out there, and, and physical media is one of those things that it's just disappearing, and they're filling up, right. you know, people throughout the years, they've thrown out so much physical media. So to still find this relic from, you know, 1977, yeah. like, it means something. And to a 20-year-old kid who's going to hold on to that for 50 years, before you know it, these albums and these physical yeah. items are going to be 100 years old, and it's like, what the hell? Yeah, we're, we're in a digital age now, mm -hmm. and uh, you guys helping to preserve some of that physical media, it's a, it's a great thing. It is, and you know, it, and, and that's what I was, uh, I was telling you before we started recording, um, there's really something special about seeing these younger kids come in and, and buy CDs or buy cassettes, and I feel like that they grew up in this digital age where they have all the music at their fingertips, they can find anything, but when you collect music and you, and you build that collection, it's something meaningful. And for the first time, these kids have ownership over their music. Yeah. You, know? you can see like a five-year-old buy their first Sesame Street album, and then on the same day, a 15-year-old buy their first Iron Maiden album. Right. And, then, and yeah. on the same day, you see an 80-year-old gentleman picking up you know, that Willie Nelson record that he's been looking for for decades. Right, that, to, to complete his collection. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. People like to do that. They like to complete their collection and have all the albums or, you know, what, whatever it might be to, to fill up that one artist. See, mm -hmm. my, what, what, one of my favorite uh, bands of all time is Van Halen. Okay. Oh, Love yeah. Van Halen. They were, you know, part of my youth. They were, you know, I still listen to this day. And there was nothing like putting the needle down on the vinyl. Uh, just the the feeling of that, and mm -hmm. the and the and the, the sounds different, right? It does. It's it hear that sounds, crackle. Yeah, and, and yeah. it's it's hard to explain to somebody who hasn't experienced it. And I use the the metaphor as like you could watch a movie on a little TV on a VHS, but you could watch that same movie in an IMAX movie theater, right. and it's the same movie, but the experience is completely different. Right. And that's that's how I look at you know when you have a really nice system and you have. You know, it's it's a it's, it's an experience. We're talking with Justin and Jackson with Iconic Records and Apparel. Iconic with a K. We want to make sure we put that out there. There are two twenty four North Compo. You guys get a lot of tourists coming in, right? But that's a that's a touristy thing to to visit record. It stores. is. It is, and you know, we're even when we go to different cities. Oh, where's the record stores? You know, or right. where's the where's the comic book shop? Where's the small business that right. we can that we can check out? And uh, and we do see a lot of um, a like lot Canadians. of tourists. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of Canadians come in. A lot of Canadians. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know if there's a lot, but we've, yeah, we've seen people come through from, see, like, from three from the France. Past week. We've had, uh, <laughs> we had uh, people from, from Japan. There was the guy that yeah. came in. He was, he was coming through. Um, and it's, uh, it's... People from the UK. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you, got, you guys also have uh, video games. Oh, from, yeah. From back in the 80s and 90s as like well. Like Centipede. Right? right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's like... And that's one thing that 
back in 2008, I wanted to create this environment where, you know, you walk in and it's a record store, but it's, it's so much more. And it's, it's a basically like a walk through a time machine and you feel like you're in the eighties or nineties or whatever era you want to be in, you're it's, there, yeah. you know? So you guys have a website people can uh, check everything out at? Well, right, right, right now we just, you know, you can find us on social Instagram. Media. Yeah, social oh, yeah. media, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Um, TikTok. But one thing that we also do is we, we really support local artists and musicians. Oh, we great. have a lot, on, of, like, um, a lot of live music. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, we just had, uh, we just had a show this past weekend. We had uh, an excellent band from Phoenix uh, called Snail Mate. We had Dog Joy, who was from uh, Truth or Consequences. And some, like, local bands, like Boosty. And, and then the uh, Jax is actually wearing the Sister Black uh-huh. Lagoon. So shout yeah. out to all those bands. We had an incredible yeah. night last uh, last weekend. Yeah. And um, there are going to be so many more events coming up. So just stay tuned. Well, go in and check them out again. 224 North Campo, downtown Las Cruces. Guys, thanks so much for being on this show. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank it. you uh, for thank the you opportunity. Thank you so much. And before we close out, we always have a question we ask everybody on the show. It's the final question. There's no right or wrong answer, just whatever you feel. When you're talking to somebody that's never been to Las Cruces, New Mexico, or is not from here, what do you tell them is your favorite thing about the area? I mean, it, it's definitely the people and the community and the food and the weather. I mean, it's hard to pick one thing. Right. Um, I always say, like, it's hard to be in a bad mood when you're living in a postcard. Right. You know, we see those mountains every day. We see the sunshine. Yeah. And there's something really special and unique about this city. And uh, we're looking forward and to yeah, the And, yeah, just, like, seeing everybody come together at the shows and just how, like, like he said, the community is just coming together and just... With, at the record store, everybody is just friends. Yeah. And, it's and not at the like, end of the day, we, we just want to make people smile. Right. You know, we want to get these records into a collection where they're going to be loved and adored. We want a place for artists to do their work and play their music. And, uh, and, and get have discovered. People, of course, yeah. 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 And, and there's magic that happens. And it's, it's weird to say, I know, but it, you have to experience it. You have to be there, you know, during one of our live music events or on a Saturday, a busy Saturday, and... That's one thing that we don't have is human connection anymore. Everything right. is on social media and behind a screen. Yeah. But you walk into but a record store. But nothing beats like face to face. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, go by and check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Iconic Records and Apparel. Again, they're at 224 North Campo, downtown Las Cruces. Uh, go and check it out. It's definitely worth the drive. That's going to do it for another edition of Visit Las Cruces Live. Again, visit Las Cruces Live, the real New Mexico podcast. Listen for free on those podcast apps. You can listen online at visitlascruces.com. That's going to do it for another edition of Visit Las Cruces Live, the real New Mexico. I'm Ed Garneth, and we'll catch you next time with Visit Las Cruces Live.